Golden Corral has an all-you-can-eat buffet. Let's check it out. I paid $11 for a buffet, and this place is just as big as I remember it. For my very first plate, I played it safe, got the classic pizza, macaroni. Tastes like your average frozen pizza. I give it like a two out of 10. The macaroni, that is pretty good. It's really cheesy. I give that a seven. Mashed potatoes with gravy. There is so many clumps in there, it's ridiculous. I give that a one, a roll. Very hard on the bottom, but soft up top, so three out of 10. And fried chicken. Chicken quality is very low and very greasy, but the breading is pretty crispy and good, so overall, two out of 10. Well, I was gonna get a steak, but they don't serve steaks at lunchtime, only dinner, all they serve is chicken livers. Well, no steak for me, I guess. Plate number two, we decided to get a taco. They don't really have like no toppings at all, just like beef and nacho cheese. That meat is very funky, one out of 10. Try a piece of their meatloaf. It's decent, kinda tender, I give it a five. A big old piece of barbecue chicken, oh baby. Mm -hmm. Driest chicken in existence. It looks like a steak inside. This is weird. Zero. And then a barbecue wing. That's pretty good. It's really nice and crispy. I give that a six. Finally, we got some dessert. Chocolate chip cookie. Kind of a weird texture, but it's a six. This is called a fudgy brownie. It's way too rich. I give that a four. Red velvet cupcake. That's gas. They nailed the red velvet taste. This is good. I give it an 8.5. Now this is their chocolate cake. Ew. That cake is ripe. I give that a two. Finally, a piece of their carrot cake. I love carrot cake, but not this one. This one is weird. I give it a one. All in all, Golden Corral is cheap and you get a ton of food, but it's not that good. So if you wanna fill your face, go right ahead.